and we proceed like this for some time so and after after some time so, so let, me, let, me, let me do it uh, this for example we we end up with graph which is a triangulation uh, so, so something like this yeah so now this is this is called um, almost uh, because the outer face is now big so we need to to add more more edges to it and it will be kind of ugly so it's it's not not actually so true that just planar it is is enough to to make things nicer so now now it should be it should be a triangulation yeah so, so we add edges and we will obtain something which is called triangulation meaning that every face is a triangle so uh, we can we can clearly proceed in this way and we would like to to avoid multi edges yeah it's 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 an important um, and the important thing here is to is to avoid multi edges because otherwise uh, the question about about bounded number of, of edges wouldn't wouldn't make any sense. We could add edges arbitrarily. So so we do not want multi edges. And maybe maybe let me let me show it in more detail. So we take every face of the graph separately think like this and we will we will triangulate it in some some way but there could be a problem that when we when we would like to triangulate this thing it would be actually connected already outside because these two these two things will be lying in another face and for example this this edge was already added there but the thing is what what we can do this this face was bigger than of size 4 so we can always add some another edge like this and this edge cannot be here because otherwise it would be crossing this 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 edge which which connects um, let's call it this u and v so it would be crossing edge connecting u u and v and this is not possible so if we can add this this edge directly into phase we can add another one yeah, so we can proceed in this way and create a triangulation of, of the graph yeah, something something like this so now what we know is that each face is triangle and now we are going to to take a look at, at this formula v plus f is equal e plus 2 so we can count edges of the graphs in of the graph in two ways edges in two ways so the first way would be around every vertex that we take every every vertex and calculate the number of edges going out from it so so for example this one has four edges and, and so on and we this this is called uh, degree sequence so we have some sequence this is this is degree of we i vertex so with index i so we take sum of, of these degrees together and what we obtain is exactly twice the amount of edges because each edge is calculated twice one for one end and um, second for for uh, for the other end on the other hand what we can do is to calculate edges using faces so if we have a face of some size this face contributes to to six uh, to uh, of some size, this is, uh, has some some edges which which are around it. So in this case, this uh, this is of size six, so it has six edges. And if we sum sizes of of all faces, so let me let me denote it uh, f i, we will also obtain two e. So what does it mean that sum of of d i is equal sum of f i? And we don't know this number here but we what we know is is this number here so this number is each face is of size 3 so it's 3 times the number of faces so what we know 
is that three times the number of faces is, is to e. Yeah, so so like this. And now we're going to to use this. Now we put it here to to Euler's formula. So uh, what we can do is to is to put it into Euler's formula. Yeah, so we know that three times f is is two times e. So what we know is that that f is is two thirds of of e. So v plus two thirds of e is e plus two, meaning that v is equal one third of, of e plus two. And maybe maybe it's it's uh, better to to rewrite it in the other way to to get away of this of this fraction. So we put two here, and we will obtain that e is three times um, v minus six. Yeah, so formula like this, and because this was an extreme case, we cannot have more edges because uh, like the smallest types of size of the faces are triangles. So in this case, this was somewhat extreme case. So for any any planar graph, what what does hold is that that e is at most three times v minus six. So if we know the number of vertices, we have some good bound on the number of of edges. Yeah, so let me give you example some some application to this. So let us return to to K five here. And so K five is a graph. It has five vertices and how many how many edges so we have five vertices each of them is connected to, to each other yeah? so uh, for each each vertex we have degree four so we have four times five uh, edges but each edge is, is calculated twice so divided by two so in, in total it's ten but if we put this into our formula what would we get is that number of um, of vertices times three is, is fifteen, a uh, three times v minus six. Fifteen minus six is is just nine, so we can have only nine edges. But in our case, we have ten of them. So this graph is not planar. It, it has it is somewhat too too dense. It has too too many edges. Yeah. So so something something like this. Unfortunately, this does not help yet with the other graph, which which is K33, because K33 has six vertices and the number of edges is nine. But if we if we put it here, it's clear it clearly won't work because we have six times the number of of vertices, three times the number of vertices, meaning eighteen minus six. Is, is 12 and 12 is larger than than 9 so so it does not help here but we can solve it in in a different way and it's actually not not so not so difficult not so more difficult so the point is that in the previous construction we were considering that every face is a triangle but k33 is bipartite and it means that there cannot be any triangle because if there would be triangle then two vertices of the same part would be would have to be adjacent yeah, so so in a bipartite graph there cannot appear something which is called odd, odd cycle yeah, so so some kind of some kind of thing which look something like this let's say so this is for example seven cycles so seven vertices connected in and around to each other so, so no odd cycles are allowed in bipartite graphs so the smallest faces we could we could have are of size four four so we cannot have a triangulation we can have something called quadrangulation 
is also also very regular object so, so can have something something and this this outer face is still too big it has six vertices so what we need to what we need to do is um, something like this and now now it's quadrangulation uh, every face is of size four yeah so so we have something like this and now what what does it hold it the sum of the faces is, is different of face, uh, face sizes is different because in this case the face sizes are are four so we have four times number of faces is 2e meaning that f is e half and if we put it into Euler's formula what what we obtain is a uh, number of vertices plus number of faces meaning e, e half is e plus 2 so if we work around it we have that the number of edges is 2 times v minus 4 which is much better bound than and 3 times v minus 6 yeah, in this case so in in the case of of general uh, sorry opposite opposite equality uh, in the case of of general planar gr uh, planar bipartite graphs we have that the number of edges is at most 2 times v minus 4 so if we plug it here then we have 2 times 6 yeah, so in this case we have um, 2 2 times 2 times 6 minus 4 which is 12 minus 4 which is 8 and 8 um, and 8 is the maximum of number of edges and it is it is smaller than 9 so so in this case we are happy that we are able to prove that that k33 is not a planar graph yeah so so we know we know at least at least some basics of of planar graphs and this this Euler formula will be will be quite helpful but um let me um go away from from planar graphs for for a while and consider something else because it's like the history of of planar graphs is slightly different it's not only about nice drawings but actually origin of originally the planar graphs are older than normal graphs and so it is quite interesting that planar graph is a special case of a graph but it was it was investigated much earlier actually even in ancient ancient greeks were investigating these these things so um and the thing is ancient greeks were not interested about about graph theory and their mathematics was was much more interested about geometry yeah, so so uh, for example things things as triangles and angles and lengths and, and things like this and um, so so the whole mathematics was was based on rational numbers and, and, and geometry and what they were investigating were not only only uh, objects in the plane but also objects in the space and the things which they were considering are called solids now for example a cube like like this and or for example mm, I don't know, a, like, um, a tetragon in this case well, the chiron is, is too big I will, I will draw it later but yeah so something something like this and also other people were investigating things like this so for so one of them was Euler so the Euler's formula is not about planar graphs the Euler's formula is about solids and what does it says we have faces on the solids we have edges yeah, so this uh, sorry not not faces vertices we have edges here and we have these these things called faces 